Ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ. Καλή Σαρακοστή. Καλησπέρα σας. And it's an honor, it's an honor to accept this award. And I'm, I want to apologize. My family was going to be here uh, tonight because it's spring break. And they were really looking forward to coming to California. Uh, however, peteramo in Arosti. And uh, yeah, she's, she's pretty sick. We need to pray for her, but she's getting better. Uh, and uh, my wife, just as we do, family, us Greeks and Philhellenes, family comes first. Uh, so she is not here tonight with us, uh, nor are my children. But I told them that if we don't go to Greece, if we don't go to Greece this summer, we'll, we'll do the next best thing and come to California. <laughs> but you know, I really do have a family here. You are our family. And everywhere I go, we find Greeks. As a matter of fact, uh, I went to Guam recently, and uh, I knew I had a little bit of a challenge there. Uh, I, I told uh, one of the congressmen, I said, you know what, I'm going to find a Greek here. And as soon as I got off the plane, I asked if there was a Greek Orthodox church around, and they didn't know one. I said, this is going to be a tremendous challenge. Well, the next day, I participated in a veterans roundtable, and guess who sat next to me? A fellow Greek. So we're everywhere. It made me feel at home, just like I feel tonight. I, first of all, I, I do have a speech, but uh, I do in a short speech. Uh, <laughs> but I want to tell you that Dukakis stands for integrity. Yes. Governor. You're a tremendous role model for all of us. And Ed Royce, he is a palikari. He is a palikari. And I want you to know, and I want you to know how much he loves our people and our elada. And let me tell you, with Ed Royce, it's not political. It's from the heart. And he's always been with us, no matter what. And he's led resolutions, not just followed, but he's led on our behalf. So thank you, and what a wonderful friend, and I always say that he's my mentor in Congress. Thank you so very much, And The Hellenic, the American Hellenic Council is a wonderful organization that I've come to greatly admire through the years. The council does incredible work to facilitate strong relations between Greece, Cyprus, and the United States. Thank you for your continued dedication. I also want to thank, uh, well, Congressman Sherman is not here, but he's also a strong advocate. Again, Congressman Sherman and Congressman Royce have been outstanding for our cause and our community, and I thank you so very much. They have never, as I said, they've never hesitated to be one of the first to sign on any Hellenic Caucus legislation I've introduced throughout the years. And what a great honor, as I said, to have our governor here. He deserves another round of applause. <laughs> like many of you, I was blessed to have been raised in a very traditional Greek family. I worked in the family bakery with my grandfather, serving elderly customers and relishing the opportunity to listen to their stories of the old country, our patrida, Elada. In the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church of Tarpon Springs, Florida, I served as an altar boy and attended Sunday school and Greek school regularly. My parents wanted to ensure my brother Manuel, who is a physician, and I not only learn the Greek language, but also gain an appreciation for the richness of our Orthodox faith. These experiences sow the seeds for the strong faith and proud roots I share with you today. I wouldn't trade my Hellenic heritage for the world and feel an immense obligation to perpetuate our beautiful language, culture, and faith.
As a member of the Congress, I especially feel incumbent to do all that is within my power to uphold the rule of law and matters of U.S. foreign policy, particularly in our nation's dealings with Greece and Cyprus. And this is articulated in the mission of the American Hellenic Council. To that end, I'm blessed again to co-chair the Congressional Caucus, which my father founded with Carolyn Monroe many years ago. Just last week, the caucus introduced House Republican Resolution 130, excuse me, House Resolution, it's bipartisan, House Resolution 136, urging Turkey to respect the rights and religious freedoms of the ecumenical patriarchate, an issue we will continue we will continue to fight for as long as it takes. We'll never get it up. I also want to take a moment to let you know about the exciting new initiative I recently started. The Congressional Hellenic Israel Alliance is a new caucus aimed at promoting the growing relationships between Greece, Cyprus, Israel, and the United States. Through the alliance, we hope to highlight how the relationships between these countries and the United States are critical to maintaining economic stability and national security. This new spirit, thank you. This new spirit of cooperation between the Hellenic world and Israel is cause for optimism. Ladies and gentlemen, I, as I told the governor uh, at, at the reception, we uh, kicked off this caucus just a few weeks ago uh, in the Rayburn foyer, those of you who have been to Washington, and we sent emails out to, to the different groups. Uh, I'm sure we sent one to the American uh, Hellenic Council, uh, the Greek groups, and the Jewish organizations throughout the United States. But I didn't know what to expect. Uh, the the uh, kickoff was at 5.30, and it was a little nervous. I said, uh, what if nobody shows up? And you know how us Greeks are when we run Greek time. And, and, and I understand I'm close to the Jewish community as well, and I know they're a little late as well. I said, if we get 30, 50 people, we'll be lucky. Well, guess what? 350 to 400 attendees. It was fantastic. We had uh, the ambassador, the Greek ambassador speak. Uh, we also had the Israeli ambassador speak, Michael Warren, and a representative from the embassy of Cyprus, and the Israeli ambassador was so thrilled with the formation of the caucus, two weeks later he invited us to his residence to celebrate the caucus, and it was wonderful. We had Greek food, and we had a little ouzo, we had some Greek wine, and uh, Guess what? They found a band from New York, originally from Israel, two Greeks and two Jews, and they played Greek music all night. It was wonderful. It had kefi. We, we, they played Thalassaki, and that's where from my, uh, my island, I think they knew that, Kalimnos. Uh, they played uh, Trata, and we sang, we knew all the words, of course. Paploma, it was just fantastic. So my fellow Hellenes, it is because of incredible folks such as you that Greek Americans are well respected in the community. Greek Americans have excelled in every endeavor, whether it's business, academics, entertainment, the arts, public service, or philanthropy. Leaders, of course, like the Honorable Michael Dukakis. Axios. Axios. My, fellow, uh, uh, my fellow honorees, Thanasis Mascaleris and Yana Ananga. Uh, oh, my goodness. Father, <laughs> I'm with you, Father. Ortheos Xeri. <laughs> Yana Angelopoulos Daskalaki. All right, Poliora. I'm going to stop out of Poli. Bravo. Again, so many of you, like my good friend, Dr. George Collins, you embody all that is good and true about our culture. I'm humbled to be in your company 
and I want to thank you for your leadership and friendship. I also would like to honor our predecessors, our forefathers, our parents, our grandparents, our great grandparents, who took a chance by leaving their patria, their patrida, to forge a bold new future in this great land of ours. May their memory be eternal. We owe them so much. I particularly want to honor my grandparents, Costa and Maria Miaoli, and Manoli and Irini Biliraki, and my nuna, Maria Spanu from Smyrni, to whom I dedicate this award and from whom I will forever cherish the lessons of love, faith, and hope. That's what we're all about. I continue to labor in their memory until our, our ecumenical patriarchate is free, until our scholi is reopened, until Greece is no longer harassed by her neighbors, and until Cyprus is reunified. I'm almost finished. But let us live by the words of His All Holiness, Bartholomew. We are both the heirs and the envoys of the holy Greek Orthodox tradition and of a brilliant civilization thousands of years ago. Tonight's recognition further renews my spirit to serve as the envoy. And again, I, I pledge to you, I will continue to fight. Elada and Kipro needs us now more than ever. Σας ευχαριστούμε τόσο πολύ. Γεια σας και ο Θεός να είναι μαζί σας. Thank you. Yes. Congressman, just a second. We have a city proclamation from uh, City Attorney Carmen Trutanich. Oh, what an honor. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Ambassador, I don't know what is so difficult about Angela Pulu that they can't pronounce it. I, I usually can, but the pressure was on. <laughs> this man referred to all the other electeds here on this stage as being good and honorable gentlemen. But what this man hasn't told you is that for those that put themselves between us and those who wish to do us harm, he is their champion. And so when he talks about Oxios, this is the man who is Oxios. He is the hero of the heroes. Thank you very much. And so on behalf of the city of Los Angeles, it's with great pride that I present you the Honorable Costas. Thank you. That's what I Thank you. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank 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 you. Thank